My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as we gather to pray for our country on this 57th anniversary of Malaysia Day, we reflect from Isaiah chapter 60, verse 3. Nations shall walk by your light and kings by your shining radiance. As Christians, we are called to recognize the light, to follow the light, to be the light, and to radiate the light for others. Wherever there is darkness in our nation or in the world at large, Christ has commanded us to let our light shine before humankind, to use whatever means we have at our disposal to relieve the sufferings of others and drive out the darkness that shrouds the lives of so many. We are to let the light of Christ shine through us so that the darkness of despair and hopelessness might be dispelled. Seeking and following the light of Christ is not simply a privilege, it is a call to service. We are not called to be awestruck by this light's shining radiance, nor blinded and overwhelmed by its glory. We are actually called to be mirrors, reflecting this light of Christ back to others in whatever small way we can. The light of Isaiah is a call to action, a call to arise and shine, not for ourselves, but to shine for others. My dear friends, it is clear that the darkness permeated the entire world because of the coronavirus pandemic. We were powerless to stop the spread that claimed lives and disrupted livelihoods. Darkness had filled the lives of so many, but it is now our call as those who have the light of Christ in our lives to let that light shine into the darkness to give hope and encouragement to all. When our churches were closed, we found new and innovative ways to keep our flock together, to continue our worship. We found ourselves filled with new determination and encouragement. In the darkness that filled our lives, the words of Isaiah took on new meaning. No longer will your sun set or your moon wane, for the Lord will be your light forever, and the days of your grieving will be over. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 20. Christ is the one who will meet us in our deepest darkness, whatever that darkness is for us. His love never changes. In His light, we find the strength to carry on. In His light, the darkness around us and in the lives of others is replaced with hope, love and forgiveness. As Christians, we are called to be good people. We have a shared humanity with one another and with God Himself in the person of Jesus Christ. It is this shared humanity that underpins our responsibility for the good of our neighbour, of society, and of the world. This is our Christian hope, that in being good people, we show that God is good. And nowhere is the call of goodness more urgent than in societies like our own, made up of diverse races and religious affiliations. Let us take the opportunity for a personal examination of conscience. How far do my values and attitudes towards my country and all the people in society reflect the good news of God's love for me and all humankind? Let us look first at the communities that make up our own churches. Do we divide ourselves along lines of race, language and social economic backgrounds? which are ultimately invisible in God's eyes. In remedying our own divisions, in love and humility, 
so that Christ's prayer may be fulfilled, that they may all be one, let us also never forget our mission to our nation to adopt a multi-pronged approach to building up society, beginning with a change in our own mindset and attitudes that it will effect a change in our behaviour. As Christians, our faith is not confined to just praying and doing good deeds. We are called to build bridges, not walls. Whether in politics, race relations, economic crises, or disputes among families or local communities, we are challenged to be peacemakers, to find common ground and to engage in respectful dialogue. The decisions and choices we make as Christians every day must reflect our continuous commitment towards Malaysia in all its diversity and uniqueness. We all have a role to play in building up our country, and this translates to building strong bonds of unity among the various races and religions while ensuring that fair play forms the cornerstone of our society. When there are those who make false allegations against us out of ignorance, we must not react negatively. On the contrary, our response can be the beacon of light for others to see. This can be an opportunity to explain our faith rationally and be a witness to Christ. A time to promote the principles of fairness and justice while inculcating spiritual and moral values for the good of our society. We continue to pray that our government will provide a leadership of inclusiveness, openness and accountability, work towards reducing poverty and improving the quality of life for all Malaysians. United, we pray that the well-being of our King, all political and civil leaders at the federal and state levels, and for all the peoples of Malaysia on this auspicious occasion of Hari Malaysia. May God's light continually shine in this land for justice, righteousness and hope, and may we all Christians continue to shine forth in the darkness with Christ as our light.